to download map first we will search for map download on any browser here we will look for this link which is this map.info and downloads we will just open this page here if your system is based on apple chip for example mac m1 mac m2 then go with the arm option and on the other hand if your system is based on intel chip then go with the first option to check our chip type just click on this apple icon which is present on the left top corner and then click on this about this mac now here we can find the chip information if intel is written in this information then we will go with this first option which is intel option otherwise we will go with this arm option so for me it is a apple m1 which is silicon based system so i will go with this arm option so i will close this and click on this second option here this will start our downloading once it is downloaded we will open up finder and go to the downloads folder here we will double click on this pkg file to start the installation here i will say continue continue again then again continue i will click on this agree to accept the terms and condition and finally i will say install here we will provide our macbook's password here and click on install software now to provide access i will click on okay now this will install both map free version as well as the map pro version which is the paid version and now the installation is successful so i will say close here and we do not require this anymore so i will move this to bin now to launch map we will click on this go on the finder and here we will select the applications here we will look for map folder which is this one we will go inside this and now we will double click on this map here now this is regarding map pro so we will untick this option and we will close this from here now from this option we can select the php version now before starting the map server we will configure the ports and for that we will click on this preferences here we will click on this ports and the port should be 80 for apache and the 3306 for mysql so we will click on this 80 and 3306 which will set these ports automatically now the ports are set as desired we will click on okay now now we will start the server once the server is started this page will be launched automatically here if you scroll down a bit you will find information about mysql like what is the username what is the password what is the port and host and all other information and following which you will find the code snippet to connect with mysql in different languages i will now again scroll up to the page and here i will click on this tools option and select php my admin from here from here we can manage mysql database now if i open a new tab and type localhost in the address bar then we will see this welcome page and we are getting this page because of this index.php file which is present at this particular location and we can also create our own projects inside this stdocs folder itself and if you want to learn more about this map then you can watch the next video i hope the video was useful to you